What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I've got 10 awesome old school packs to open up. A lot of it from the original series, about half of it maybe from like GX series. So lots of old school stuff and uh, this should be a pretty good opening. It's 10 packs total and uh, uh, I got them from my mystery box from my man Aaron aka uh, Halo God on Instagram and uh, there will be a link in the description to purchase mystery boxes or sealed product off of him. He's got a whole, uh, just like a huge inventory of mostly older stuff. So um, we've got today a uh, Lost Millennium, that's First Dead, a Dark Revelation 1, a Dark Crisis, uh, Invasion of Chaos, Barrow Servant, Cyberdark Impact, that's also First Dead, uh, Force of the Breaker, First Dead, Strike of Neos, First Dead, Dark Beginning 2, and a Tactical Evolution, First Dead. So I guess we could start with Tactical Evolution, and then we'll just kind of um, make our way down. We'll do Lost Millennium last, since that's at the bottom. So first we've got Tactical Evolution. And we've got a Phantom Dragon uh, Bronto. Next we have Dark Beginning 2. I really like this set. I think the commons in here are really nice. Um, the hollows really aren't worth too much. They didn't reprint a whole lot of really good common or uh, sorry, hollows, but they, they reprinted a lot of nice commons and rares, um, which Dark Beginning, both one and two are really good for that. <clears throat> so we got uh, another tip. I swear I've got this before about emergency provisions. So we got a re as the rare. The Naba White Rabbit. Mechanical Chaser, really cool, it's a common. Muka Muka, Toon Goblin Attack Force, that's a nice, one of the more expensive commons from this set. Destiny Board, that's a cool common too. Magical Thorn, nice, Ferris Treasure, Call of the Mummy, Dark Piercing Light, and Soul of the Pure. So, some really cool commons, I love this set, especially for its commons and rares. Uh, so next we got a uh, Strike of Neos, first edition. <clears throat> if we could open it, that is. Maybe we could pull a, I think Grandmaster of the Six is in here? Maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember a whole lot of Strike of Neos. It's been a while since that came out. Firestar in Prominence. That looks really cool. It's like a, an alligator on fire. And we got a DD Crow. It's actually a really good rare. I mean, it's been reprinted a bunch of times, so it's not really worth much. But um, in terms of playability, it's a very good card. Next, we've got uh, Force of the Breaker. First edition also. Crystal Beast stuff, Breakthrough, and uh, Zeratius Hel uh, Herald of Heaven. Nice. That's, uh, I think you can discard it and get uh, the Sanctuary in the Sky, I want to say. That's what it does. Next, we got Cyberdark Impact. We got some really cool Barrier Statues, Instant Fusion. Uh, I think Chain Strike's in here. Just a lot of good commons. And we got a Degenerate Circuit. That is a rare. So, no hollow so far. A couple Barrier Statues. Next, we got Pharaoh Servant. Very excited for this. PSV. We got Reign of Mercy. Type Zero Magic Crusher. Twin Dragon or Twin Headed Fire Dragon. I've always really enjoyed the artwork on this card. Invitation to a Dark Sleep and Gravity Bind. This was actually one of the best rares in the set when it came out. Not a lot of people ran stuff that destroyed magic and trap cards. And so if your opponent was running burn, they ran three of these. It's a big problem if you're running like a beatdown or something. So next we got Invasion of Chaos. Pull that BLS right out of here. We got a uh, Cannonball Spear uh, Shellfish. Uh, Grand Maju Da Eza, Eza, whatever. Rio Koki and Stray Lambs. So we are 0 for what, seven? Yeah, there's three packs left. Hoping to get some kind of hollow. Um, been kind of shut out lately, so uh, let's see if Dark Revelations can give us something. This is another set where the hollows are not too great, but the commons and rares are really good. So we got a tip card, take care of your opponent's cards. Oh, I guess, you know, sportsmanship kind of thing. So uh, Guardian Grarl is a rare. Dimension Jar. Freezing Beast. And nothing really good in there. We got a Reasoning. All right, down to the last two packs. Can we save this opening and pull something? Or you know, might as well just go 10 for 10 on the rares. So we got Dark Crisis, because this is not about the best pulls, it is about nostalgia. Although, nice pulls would be cool. 
Got a Blindly Loyal Goblin. Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. Uh, Spell Reproduction. Ga uh, Gaga Gigo. And uh, Memphis, the Internal General. So nothing on that one. Pandemonium Watch Bear. That's a really cool looking card. All right, last pack is the Lost Millennium. And uh, I guess we could make up for this whole opening with an Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare. I think that would pretty much do it. So we got an Elemental Hero Sparkman, AVN, and okay, well, we got a Super, it's a Mega Rock Dragon. And that is a first set. So we um, did pretty bad on the pull ratio. But these packs are really fun to open. Most of these sets have awesome commons. So I did get some nice commons and some decent rares. Um, so it wasn't just like a total disaster. Uh, so the only hollow was this Mega Rock Dragon. But um, it's in nice shape. It is gem mint, you could say. Uh, so real quick recap on the rares. We got Mephis, the Infernal General. Guardian Gararl. Stray Lambs. Gravity Vine. Uh, Degenerate Circuit. Uh, Zeradius, Herald of Heaven. DD Crow, it's a pretty nice rare. Reusentia, that's also good for Go. I mean, it's I think it comes as a common in some set, but. Um, and we got a Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto. I've never seen this card. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was nostalgic. It was a wide array of different packs, uh, different sets. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it, even though we only got one hollow out of 10 packs. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more awesome Yu Gi Oh! videos.